Why do you think God tells us to remember the Sabbath day? No. If you if, if I tell you, listen, remember this right here. Remember it. Because eventually, through time, you was going to do what? Forget. Hey, this is the truth. That's what take my time to read it. It's real interesting. They got a lot of truth in here. And if y'all read it, y'all find out what's going on in the world today. Oh, oh. About to bring the beat. About to bring the beat. I'll stop for this anytime. I love my black men. I love my black men. Honestly, I'll put my shit in park behind this. That's what I'm talking about. Let's do it. We're here for the Black Bike Week Festival. What are we doing? We're out here showing our people there's a better way. There's a better example. We on your street every day, day. But your past, they go trip like a vacay. Stutter around, let it hit. I say, wait. I got pain they can see in my face. You can wait. I'm afraid for them gates. Drop a pants at a time and a place. We gon' roll up a duck like skates. We gon' take you, no need for a mate. Bobby the fish and I'm hungry, no switching up. Hit a script, not a split phone, I'm blowing up. I can't lose to the spirits, I'm showing up. Growing the spirit, but they say I'm growing up. Super young, but the That's beautiful what you guys are doing. You guys are great. Amen. We come out here to teach you so-called Blacks, Hispanic, and Native Americans who you are according to the Most High God. Hey, Give me that in Luke chapter 14 and verse 23. Because some people might not understand why we out here. What is our mission? What did we come to do today? Read what you got. Luke chapter 14, verse 23. Yeah. And the Lord said unto the servant, Go out into the highways and hedges and compel them to come in. So that's what we're here to do. We're here to talk to tell the so-called blacks, Hispanic and Native Americans that you are God's chosen people. And, and the reason why we're on the bottom of society because of our sins. Right. And the nations know that. That's the reason why they have event, events like Black Bikers. Right. Right. We, give me that in um, John chapter 8, verse 32. This is the reason why these events happen because they benefits and product sin to our people so they can continue to keep us confused as to who we are as a nation of people. Read hey. what you got. John chapter 8 verse 32. Bring Bring and ye shall know the truth. Uh -huh. And the truth shall make you free. So today, too many lies have been has been told to us. Give me Judas chapter 5 and verse 9, 17. Too many lies have been told to us to have been telling us that we're blacks. We're African Americans. What was we before we came over here? Who was we? What was our custom? What was our dress code? What was our guidelines? Who were we supposed to marry? What we what was we were supposed to be eating? These are the things that they're not teaching us. And they benefit off of our ignorance. Read what you got. Judith, chapter 5, verse 17. Yeah. And whilst they say not, and what? And whilst they say not, they know when we come from being in the midst of sin, Bring it out. like the group you see right now before right. your very eyes, right. the prophets of the Most High God, read. Before their God and before our God, because if you read from Genesis to Revelation, the Most High God chose one group of people, right. and that people he chose to be right. their God. Read. Right. They prospered. They did what? They prosper. So why, as the so-called Black, Hispanic, and Native American, why are we not profit? Why are we not prospering today? Oh, what you got? Give me Jeremiah chapter five, verse twenty-five. The book of Jeremiah. It says, "When we believed, when we trust, when we kept the commandments and came out of sins, we prosper as a nation of people." Right. But as you look around, why we are not on the top? Why we are on the bottom of society? Read right. what you got. Jeremiah. Chapter 5, verse 25. Bring it out. Your iniquities, you know what? Your iniquities really? have turned away these things. It says our iniquities has turned away these things. Let's read about these things that our iniquities have turned away. God calls to turn away from us. Read. And your sins. And your what? And your sins. Read. Have withholden good things from you. That's the reason why we're on the bottom. Right. Now give me John chapter 3 verse 4 to go into what sin is according to the Bible. Wake up! Because some people think sin is just doing bad. Doing evil. No, sin is something in the Bible that God despised and he hates and he put us on the bottom for these very things that we do today. Read what you got. First John chapter 3 verse 4. Whosoever committed sin uh -huh. transgresseth also the law. It says 
says, whosoever committed sin transgressed also the law. Go back to Judas chapter 5 and pick back up at verse 17 again. Yes, Judas chapter 5 and verse 17. So we see that the sins that we committed, it keeps God to refrain good things from happening to us. Right, no. Why do you think it's not by coincidence that we don't have our own banks? We don't even have a, our own representative a, a, to represent us with the European Union. Why do they call it the European Union? Right. It's because they know everything that goes on in society, they are ruling over us with it. Read what you got. Judith, chapter 5, verse 17. Bring it out. And whilst they sin not uh -huh. before their God. And when we sin not before our God, because we are already read when we sin, the Most High God refrain, remove from us good things. Read. They prospered because the God that hated iniquity. God hate what? Iniquity. You see that? That's the reason why God continues going to keep us on the bottom of society. And to the so-called blacks, Hispanic and Native American black men, Native American men, Hispanic men, first and foremost, come back to who you really are right. and keep your God's commandments. Right. We're going to continue to be on the downfall. Teach. We're going to continue to be at the bottom of society. Yeah. So guess what? If you are going to continue in your sin, you agree with our status in the earth today. Bring it out. Bring it out. Read what you got. What's with them? But when they departed from the way which he appointed them. So when we departed away, like participate in Black Bikers Week, read. They were destroyed. We was what? Destroyed. Now give me Hosea chapter 4, verse 6, to show you what we're destroyed from. Bring it out. We strayed away from our heritage, right. our history, our legacy, right. our God. Bring it out. It ain't by coincidence that the Most High God said, I formed man from the dust of the ground. Yeah. Read what you got. Hosea, chapter 4, verse 6. No, Bring don't go by, brother. Come back. Let us deal with you real quick. Let us deal with you. See, all people ain't got time for God. Right. But meanwhile, when they get their life sentence, they got time to pray to God. Yeah, meanwhile, when they're when they get, when they in an accident, they got time to pray to God. Yeah. What about when you passed by the prophets of the Most High God it out. and everything was so kind all right? It out. Read what you got. Hosea, chapter 4, verse 6. Uh -huh. My people are destroyed uh -huh. for lack of knowledge. Our oh, people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. That's the reason why they got a saying. They say, if you want to hide something from a Negro, do what? Put it in a book. Why? Because the average Negro hates and despises to read. And the thing, give me, give me Isaiah chapter 34, verse 16. Bring it up. This is the book that we're supposed to read. These are all the laws and the guidelines that we're supposed to govern ourselves about to make us one with God. Uh, read what you got. Isaiah chapter 34, verse 16. Bring hey, hey y'all three sisters, come over here and let us dialogue with you all. Yeah. Read what you got. Seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read. That's what we got to come back to. That saying of, if you want to hide something from a Negro, put it in a book, it must be destroyed. We must come back to the most powerful book on the planet Earth. Hold what you got. Give me Romans chapter 7, verse 12. Romans chapter 7 and verse 12. To show you how powerful. This ain't no physical book right here. This book is spiritual. And you actually, once you actually do what the book say, you understand it better and you conform from your mind to God's mind. Read what you got. Romans chapter 7 and verse 12. Wherefore the law is holy and the commandment holy and just and good. It says the law is holy, the commandment holy is just and good let me show you how good it is give me luke chapter 17 and verse 20. bring it up once you start to understand that these laws is put here to govern so that we can have longevity of life Now
community are, are begin to rise. Right. That's when our young men are start having fathers that's going to stay in their household. Right. That's when our young women are stop dressing so provocative and jumping from ride to ride to ride and having baby daddy after baby daddy that's destroying right. the community. Make it play. That's when our Dude. brothers are stop selling dope to each other. Right. Real quick, brothers and sisters, real quick. See, our people don't have time. Our people come down here for Black Bikers Week. Right. They don't come down here to get real, edifi real edification. Right. They don't come down here to get wisdom. Right. Read it what you got again. Luke chapter 17 and verse 20. And when he was demanded of the Pharisees uh -huh. when the kingdom of God should come, uh -huh. he answered them and said, The kingdom of God cometh not with observation. Uh -huh. Neither shall they say. Real quick, brother, real quick. You see the signs that he showed you? Who did they say this is right here? Uh -huh. Huh? Uh -huh. Who you say it is, though? Uh -huh. You say it's God? Now, where did you get that ideology from? Bring it out. All I believe it. All I was born Give me Deuteronomy 28, 48, or, or 49. So you said that's all you believe in, right? I mean, like, that's the only thing I was brought up. You was brought up, huh? So, how do we get over here? To the shores of America. You can't even answer? You don't know no history in regards to how we got over here? What about you, brother? Because I'm going to deal with you too. I'm coming back to you. Because I know you probably want to leave. But how do we get over here? How do they say we get over here to America? We got kidnapped. You heard what he said? We got kidnapped. Don't this kidnapped? Didn't this happen? Ain't this all history? So, in regards of us being kidnapped, right? We got kidnapped, brought over here. You Do you remember uh, 12 years of slavery? Roots, Django? What did they do to Kunta Kinte? What was, what was his name at first? Bring it out. His name was Kunta Kinte at first, right? They changed his name to what? They changed his name to Toby. Bring it out. Guess what? We identify with the same name. That's right. Because we don't know or identify with the people of God out of the book. That's the biggest thing in life today with the so-called Black, Hispanic, and Native American mean. We are confused as to who we are. So if we don't know who we are, how can we know where we're going? Huh? That, that's true, right? That's the reason why we get locked up more than anybody. We get shot down in the street. There's no justice, no peace. Y'all ain't looked at the news to see all of the crime that that's committed against us with black on black crime and other nations with us getting shot down with no justice. Why is that? Why do that happen to us and only us at the rates that it's due? Because God is trying to show us something. Read what I had you to get. Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 48. Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies. Did this not happen? Remember, we, you said we was kidnapped, right? Did we not serve our, did, was we not serving our enemies? Still to this day, do you think we serve our enemies? Hold that, give me Baruch 3 verse 8. Still to this day, do you think, do we serve our enemies? Huh? What about? I'd rather be in jail. Yeah, hey, listen, listen. It's the system is set up to enslave us. That's right. You, my brother with the shades on, do you think we still serve our enemies? What about y'all young brothers that just came up? Do y'all think that we still serve our enemies? We do. Read what we got. Read. Baruch chapter 3 verse 8. Uh -huh. Behold, we are yet this day. Still to this day. What date it is? It's May what? May, May 26, 2024. So it says this day, right? Read. In our captivity. What is our captivity? Slavery. That's right. You want me to tell you how? If you want to leave this country, what must you obtain before you're able to leave this country? Bring it out. Huh? Why do you need permission if you are free? Make it play. There's no freedom on earth for the so-called black, Hispanic, and Native American nations. That's right. That's the reason why we think we're free, right. but this is nothing but an enlarged plantation right. for us to roam over. And it says the same exact thing, Read, Where thou hast scattered us. And we were scattered, not just over here, throughout the entire earth, right. in Jamaica, right. in Trinidad, in right. Tobago, and right. in, in, in Grenada, right. so on and so forth, Read, For a reproach and a curse. It says, and a curse. Do you think that this is a curse right here? Huh? 
That's a lie. Yeah, but is it is it a blessing or is it a curse? It's a curse. Get Deuteronomy. Go back to Deuteronomy 28 to show you not only was it a curse, it was an identified marker so God can identify us as his people. That's right. That's the only thing that we trying to do with y'all minds. We ain't trying to have y'all to agree with us. We trying to simply cause you to stop from the chaos that's going around you and start to think outside of the box. Right. Read what you got. Deuteronomy 28 and verse 15. Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 15. Bring it up. But it shall come to pass. If thou wilt not Hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. It says if we want to hearken to God's voice, right? What do you think we can find God's voice in? Bring it out. Huh? So, it's within us. But what, what, what must we link with in order to get the answers from God that we have questions concerned? You got to go to the Bible. That's where his voice is. Read what you got. To observe. To do. To what? To do. Are we actually observing what's in this book and doing what it say do? Because we've had church since the beginning of time, right? So if we had church and the church job was to teach us this and we're still on the bottom and the church accumulate and collect yearly $1.3 trillion why we don't have our own bank, our own school, our own bus company, our own stores? Why do we not own anything in regards to a nation of people, the so-called blacks, Hispanic, and Native Americans? This is a setup and we've played into it for decades upon decades. But guess what the Lord is waiting? The Lord is waiting on you minds to wake up and come out of the bubble. You ever seen in the movie Matrix? You know who that movie was about? That movie was about you all. What about The Walking Dead? You know who that movie is about? As a movie is about us. We're high on drugs. We bugged out our minds. You ever seen a crackhead just going down the street? Yelling out loud at nothing? That's the walking dead. We That's the walking dead. Right. Huh? This is the 1611 King James Bible. I'll be, I'll be, I'll be, I'll be, I'll you you relate to King James, but guess guess who it was? Guess who it came from? The orchestrator. Give me Exodus 31, verse 16. Because King James authorized it. Make sure you get a fire, brother and sister. King James authorized it. But let's see who gave the words. Read what you got. Exodus chapter 34, verse 1. And the Lord said unto Moses, Hew thee two tables of stone like unto the first. Uh -huh. And I will write upon these tables. Hold, hold on, hold on. He said who? And I will write upon these tables. So who wrote upon the tables that delivered the message to Moses? It, it blew past you. I will write. So who wrote the Bible? Uh, the Most High God. That's right. right. It, listen. It's prophecies that's why in make, here. Why, why they make the original Bible so thick? Man? You say why they make the original Bible so thick? What do you mean the original Bible? I mean, it's like 12 different Bibles. Really. Well, the 12 different Bibles, a lot of those Bibles they took from. The word. Give me that in Revelations. I think 21. I mean, I relate to King. No, this, this, that's what you want to get. You want to get, if anything, if you, if anybody removed from the Word of God. The thing about it is, you want to get the 1611 and, and the 1611 King James Bible. Yeah. And 19. Revelation chapter 22, verse 19. And if any man shall take away from the words of the book of this prophecy, God shall take away his part out of the book of life uh -huh. and out of the holy city it says if any man take away from this book god was going to take him out of the book of life you know what they did in other bibles like the international version these bibles they have removed entire scriptures if you read matthew 18 and verse 11 we can read it if you if you try to look for it in that bible guess what they, they have removed it. So this is the closest book right here that we need in order to guide us because even if, let's just say, because some people saying it and I'm not saying y'all, they say, oh, well, the Bible been tampered with. Let's just hypothetically say that the Bible... But, but listen, though. Shalom Israel, this is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right, I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom. 
Listen though, let's just say that is somewhat to be true. Does that make thou shalt not kill different? Huh? Real, real quick, sister. Sister, before you go, we gotta correct you according to the address code. You see how our sisters come out? You know what that do for us? That keep us on the bottom. As a human, don't not kill though. Yeah, but listen though. Do everybody know that as a human? Right. When it comes to our nation of people. Right. No. No. We're supposed to be the high frequency individual on the planet Earth. That's with right. wisdom. We, we made every, just about every invention that's known to mankind. That's right. The bottom of it, the sole of your shoes, the red light, right. the clock, the car, yes, so on and so forth. We created all of these things. But guess what we didn't do? We didn't actually keep the words of the most high God. That's right. And that's the reason why, even in Tulsa, Oklahoma, what happened when we had our own banks, we had our own schools, we had everything. What they do? They drop bombs on us. Y'all right. heard the gap band? You dropped a bomb on me, baby. You know who they was talking about? They dropped a bomb on us to destroy us, to dismantle us, and to separate us through division. Now, We've been on the bottom ever since the 1400s during the Renaissance period. Why is that? It's because it's something that we ain't been doing out of the word of God. Give me Malachi chapter 2 verse 6 real quick. Give me, yes sir, yes sir, you can put that down. Give me Malachi chapter 2 verse 6 real quick to show you the reason why we're on the bottom and until we change our mind, the law gonna begin. You see these men? How often do you see a bunch of young and older black men coming together and it ain't no shooting, it ain't no killing, it ain't no smoking, it ain't no drugs, it ain't no violence, it ain't no disagreements. We're all on one accord, one spirit, one mind. With the unity of Christ. How often do you see that? You don't see that often. Until we reveal it throughout the entire earth. But guess who we waiting on? Guess who the most high God waiting on? And now, we are already up here. Huh? No, he ain't waiting on Moses. Moses fulfilled his thing. He waiting on you. He waiting on you. He waiting on the brother that just passed you. He waiting on us as a nation of people. Read what you got in there. Give me Psalms 94 verse 16. Malachi chapter 2 and verse 6. The law of the truth was in his mouth. And iniquity was not found in his lips. It says the law of the truth was in his mouth. And iniquity wasn't found in him. That's us coming back to who he is, keeping the laws of God, read. He walked with me in peace and equity uh -huh. and did not, excuse me, and did turn many away from iniquity. And that's what we come out here to do. We come out here to turn many as people as we possibly can from iniquity. But there's a question that we must have to ask. And this is the question that we got to ask. Read what you got. Psalms chapter 94, verse 16. Uh -huh. Who will rise up for me against the evildoer? That's the question. Are you willing to change your mind and to come back to your God that you, from the beginning of time, said, listen, God, everything you said, I'll do. You made that commitment in the spirit. The Lord just trying to have us to wake you up with his word so you can make that same agreement physically like the brothers that you see before you. Is you willing to change that? Give me Psalms 119 verse 9. Because it's a, it's a step, it's a process that we must take. We've tried jail. You got a lot of brothers been up here in jail. We've tried the streets. But listen though, you must be taught the correct way. Because you can read a lot if you don't have wisdom and understanding that comes from applying what you're reading. That's right. Then you won't fully get the understanding of the Bible. Yes, sir. Read what you got. Psalm chapter 119 verse 9. Uh -huh. Wherewithal shall a young man cleanse his way? Say that again. Wherewithal shall a young man cleanse his way? So it says, how should a young man cleanse his ways? You familiar with taking a shower, right? How you clean your way, your, yourself? You clean the dirt off you in the shower, right? So, God got a question as well. He said a young man should cleanse his ways. That means it's some dirt on us, spiritually, that we got to get off. That's Guess what that dirt is? That darkness of sin that we commit. Yes, sir. Commit fornication. Right. Laying from sister to sister to sister. Right. Commit adultery. Right. Doing all manner of wickedness. Reveling. Right. Read what you got. By taking heed thereto according to thy word. It says you got to take heed 
according to his word. Is that it? Give me Psalms 19 verse 7. Bring it up. So you must start to take heed. Why did you have to get locked up in order for God to sit you down to have you to read his book? Yeah. But guess what though? When the last time you picked it up since you got out of incarceration? About a month ago? And what you read a month ago? You read Matthew. What did you get from reading Matthew? Huh? Nothing really? But what you get now? Right? I know you understand. Guess what? I'm not... Listen though, but I'm not... I'm not separating myself or us. We're not separating ourselves from you. You got brothers that are actually serve time. You got us that used to kick doughs. We used to sell drugs. We used to, we was you years ago. But we saw everything that we actually did didn't profit us anything individually and as a nation of people. It only brought us further and further down. Read what you got. Psalm chapter 19 verse 7. The law of the Lord is perfect. It says the law of the Lord perfect. When we do God's laws, we become perfect. And it's a process where we got to continue to perfect ourselves once we keep God's laws and understand them. Read. Converting the soul. See what the laws of God do? It do what? It converts your soul. You know what that, that means? It changed your mind. It changed your mind from how you used to think versus how God wants you to think. Now, how God wants you to think. Today, for example, what today is? Give me that in the Exodus. What today is? Because you said you read the Bible, right? When you was in jail. Today's Saturday. According to God's word, what did he command us to do on this day? Bring it out. You don't know? What about you, bro? What did God, what today is? Today, today the Sabbath. Today the Sabbath. Yes, you know sir. what you say? Yes, sir. Now, what do we supposed to do on the Sabbath? Bring it out. You supposed to what? No, you put yourself on the spot. Right. You you actually got the, 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 the answer correct. Yes, sir. It is not by coincidence that you came by the word of God. I asked you a question that you know the answer to. So that you can edify your brothers. Right. So today, he said the Sabbath day, right? What do we supposed to be doing on today? Do we supposed to be out here smoking? Bring it out. Huh? No. No, don't hide it. Listen, we used to smoke as well. But it's a it's a transform that we went through, like I was going through the conversion. It's a, it's a transformation that we got to go through. Read what you got in Exodus. Exodus chapter 20 and verse 8. He oh. said today was the Sabbath. Read. Remember the Sabbath day. Now why you think, what's your name, bro? Stone? So, Stone, why you think, and what's your name? Who? Abethes? Abethes. Abethes. Why do you think God tells us to remember the Sabbath day? Why would you tell anybody to remember anything? Because you fear that eventually they're going to do what? Huh? No. If, you if, if I tell you, look, listen, remember this right here. Remember it, bruh. Why am I implying that you should remember this? Because eventually, through time, you was going to do what? Forget. That's the reason why God pulled you through here because you knew today was the Sabbath day. And he knew you was going to forget that you're supposed to actually do certain things on God's Sabbath day. Read what you got. To keep it holy. Six days shalt thou labor and do all thy work. So God gave us six days to do all our work. Read. But the seventh day. What day it is? It's the Sabbath day, but what number day it is? What's the first day of the week? Stone, what's the first day of the week? Huh? No. What's the first day? Sunday. On your calendar. Sunday is the first day. So Sunday being the first day, which day is the seventh day? Huh? Saturday. So God said, remember and keep it. Read. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. Who day this is? Bring it out. It's the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. So when he created us, did he create us to come down here and do whatever we want on his day? Huh, Stone? No. Because you 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 got you got the vape, right? Give me 
1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 18, and then give me 3, verse 16. Read what you got. In 1 Corinthians, and this ain't to bring attention to you and what you're doing, but guess what? I got to correct you because if I don't, guess what God going to do? Those sins that you bear, he's going to put them on me for not correcting you. Read what you got. 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse, eight, verse 19. Yeah. What know ye not? That your body, that your what? That your body, that your what? That your body uh -huh. is the temple of the Holy Ghost. Oh, stone, your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost, right? Her body is the temple of the Holy Ghost too, right? Huh? I agree. Which is in you, uh -huh. which is in you and her, read. Which ye have of God. Which ye have of God, because God created you, right? In his image. One of the most important men on the face of the earth That's today, right. stone. Read. And ye are not your own. Hold on, Stone. Do your body belong to you? Do her body belong to him? Huh? Do your body belong to you? God said what? And ye are not your own. Uh -huh. For ye are bought with a price. He said you are bought with a price. Read. Therefore, glorify God. He says glorify God. Read. In your body. Now, Stone, when you take that vape, are you glorify God? Bring it out. What praise can come from vaping? And that can be given to the Most High God. Bring it out. None whatsoever. Give me Deuteronomy 22 verse 5. Now let's get and see the glorification that she's supposed to be doing. And with her body. We're the only people that has specific laws that God govern us by. And he punishes us when we stray away. Read what you got. Because I'm, I'm talking to stone by smoking. Look, you finna walk away from the word of God. You see how all people ain't interested in the word of God? But as soon as a, a big fight break out and people start pulling guns, what do all people do? They run. Who they get to praying to them? God. It's too late. The stray bullet that went through your temple at that point. You dead on arrival. Read what you got. Deuteronomy chapter 22 verse 5. Uh, so listen to how we see important the importance in y'all living. And the way the child living. Read. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Uh -huh. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. Stone, what's a woman's garment? That a man shouldn't put on, right? So if that's a woman garment, what's she supposed to have her body covered up with? Bring it out. Huh? Come on. Because yeah. <laughs> we don't supposed to wear dresses, do it? So if we don't, as the men don't supposed to wear dresses, Bring it out. what the women supposed to wear? You know what that's going to do? When the women cover up, because the only person that's supposed to see how her body parts are, are shaped is who? You when you marry her. You see how that works on? Now guess what you're doing? You're forming unity as a family so the child, as a boy, can treat the woman the right way as a man. When their daughter, she's being able to know how to treat a man. Ain't y'all tired of bringing kids into the situation and they don't know how to be actual kids and then they grow up as adults and they still don't know how to be kids? Bring it out. And that's where you get a whole shootout that's gonna happen because we simply don't know how to resolve conflict in our communities. It's, it start with the dress code of our brothers and sisters. Shouldn't nobody, we shouldn't be able to see what that sister look like body-wise. The only person supposed to see that is a husband. Now, for the people that said, well, that, that ain't what the Bible say. Give me 1 Timothy chapter 2 verse 9. Huh? Read on. First Timothy chapter 2 verse 9. Oh, you was, all, you was already there. He felt it in the spirit. Read. In like manner also, uh -huh. that women adorn themselves in modest apparel. It says women adorn themselves in what? In modest apparel. Stone. What's happening, Stone? Listen. When the truth is coming out, spirits get to being bothered. So what's going on right now as we read the spirit is penetrating and aggravating her spirit yes, sir. to where she got to come to you and say, look, I'm ready to go. That's right. Yeah. You got to, you see that? You know, as, as you walk down, I said, if you walk there by yourself, they're going to get you. Listen, it, listen, it ain't, give me Leviticus chapter 19, verse 17. Yes, it ain't the fact that we're going to get you all. It's the fact that we're trying to simply warn you all for the Lord actually, because we only can give you words, right? And when we, once we give you words, what y'all able to do? 
You ain't, you're right. You're able to do whatever you want. You're able to walk down the street and do whatever you want to do. Go back to condoning yourself, conducting yourself however. But when the Lord calls for your soul, what's going to take place? Do you, do, do, is, is she going to be there with you, Stone? Is you going to be there with her when, it, when it's time for your soul to be judged? No, Stone. So that's the reason why you shouldn't let people pull you from the word of God. You, you understand more than the average pastor because you got pastors that's been preaching for 30 years and they can't count from one to seven to correct the people to show them Sunday is the first day of the week and it's not the day that we're supposed to be celebrating. Read what you got. Leviticus chapter 19 verse 17. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. Or thy sister stone. It says, we shouldn't hate thy brother in thy heart, mean thy mind, read. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor. It says, we're supposed to rebuke our neighbors, right? You know what rebuke means? Bring it out. You got to be, the, you get stoned. Let me tell you what type of attitude you got to have. You got to be, you got to have the type of spirit where you say, rebuke me. You got to want somebody to rebuke you, to correct you, because that's so what? Love. Read what you got. And not suffer sin. And not do what? And not suffer sin upon him. He says not suffer sin upon her. Because her dressing like that, you correcting her, telling her to cover up. Guess what that protect her from? The rapist that's out here that's looking at her body. And they looking to do away with her. Do you know our young daughters, our young sisters are being kidnapped at a rapid rate, right? Sex trafficking, organs, harvest, being shipped to Dubai. And you got, you got that nation of people that's paying some of our sisters to take a dump in their mouths. Our sisters have came to the bottom along with us in status-wise. That's the reason why we got to correct each other. And when we correct each other, that ain't hatred. It ain't y'all going to get on us. It's they going to correct them because they love us. Now, whether we commit to the words that's coming out of the Bible, that's on y'all. Read, read from the top. Give me that in 2 Corinthians chapter 5 and verse 10 to show you. You can't let nobody take you from the word of God because at the end of the day, ain't nobody going to be there in a time where your soul got to be judged to the most high God. And he gave you ample amount of time and you went past his word without keeping his word. Read that in 2 Corinthians chapter 5 verse 10. The book of 2 Corinthians chapter 5 and verse 10. Real quick, when you die, where your soul going to go? When you die, everyone eventually is going to be judged for what they did in their body, whether it be good and whether it be bad. Guess what? You're going to have to answer if that day and time where you came and the Lord sent the deaf angels to, to, to take your soul and you're still caught with vaping. She's going to be have to be judged if she's kept caught at that point in time where if she's dressed out of order, she got an answer to it. Read what you got. The book of Ecclesiastes chapter 8 and verse 11. Because sentence against an evil work is not executed speedily. It says because sentence. You know how we, we rob a bank? When they judge us. When they catch us, when do they judge us? Do they wait all year long to judge you? Let you go home? No. They judge you immediately. But because the Most High God don't judge us immediately, give us lung cancer from the smoke that we consume through the vape, the Most High God don't judge us. As soon as our sisters of our brothers lay down with each other and they're not married, they get an HIV, STD, STI, so on and so forth. He don't judge us immediately because His grace period, and we take His grace period for granted. Right. Read what you got. Therefore, the heart of the sons of men, the mind of the men on the earth, read, is fully set in them to do evil. That's the reason why this event exists. Because our mind is set on evil. Give me that in 2 Ezra chapter 9 and verse 8. Our mind is set on evil. But during this time right here, guess what? You was born in the earth, right? You got to die eventually, right? So in between you being born and you dying, the time right now that you're living and the rest of the days you're living, guess what this considered? Your grace period. Eventually, if you go past your grace period with your phone company, right? Do they leave your phone on? No. They do what? They cut it off. That's how God is going to do with our lives. It's eventually it's going to come a point in time where the Most High God take us from this earth. And all of the people that we lived our life trying to satisfy in the flesh, 
they ain't gonna be there to help us. What you got? Did you get a fly? All right, listen to the scripture as you walk off. And correct the sister, bro. Cover, cover up, you got a brother with us? He in Philadelphia? He may be here. We got brothers from, we got brothers from Philly down. Yeah. What is, what is his name? Who? Nah, he probably changed. Most likely he changed it from that. Oh, that's your brother? There go your brother right there. Look how God work, bro. You all the way down here, out of all the camps in the world, here it is, your brother right here for all the way from Philly. Hey, if that ain't a warning, I don't know what. Read what you got. The book of 2nd Estros, chapter 9 and verse 9. Then shall they be in pitiful case, which now have abused my way. Hey, Stone, I know you wrapping it up with your brother. And your brother excited to see you. He really wants you to, to repent. Real quick, listen to this scripture. Come back real quick. Give me about 30 more seconds of your time. Read what you got. Then shall they be in pitiful case. Read it from the top again. To book of 2nd Ezra chapter 9 verse 9. I ask you about the mercy, read. Then shall they be in pitiful case. It says these going to be people in the earth that's a pitiful case, read. Which now have abused my ways. It says they abused God's ways, meaning they had time to actually do what the Bible said, right. but they abused it by walking away from it, by not taking heed to their little brother. Read. And they that have cast them away despitefully. And they despise God's words. They despise God's prophets. They despise the warnings that came from the prophets. Read. Shall dwell in torment. They're going to dwell in torment. You know what that torment is? Right now, Russia and Ukraine is at war, right? And Russia said if America keeps getting um, weapons to have to where Ukraine can utilize these weapons to go against us, we're going to nuke America. That's right. and, and guess how long it takes for a nuke to come and hit America? Roughly 22 to 23 minutes. Stone, what you gonna do in that day and time when there's and, and, and warning? There's a nuclear warhead is headed towards the US of A. And you only have 22 minutes to prepare. What have you, do, what have you been doing to save you from that nuclear warhead that's gonna hit America? Can vaping save you? Can dressing out of order as a sister save her? We are the gods of this earth. And God sent us out here to restore the decay of state of our people. Read yes, what you got. Psalms chapter 82 and verse 6. I have said, Christ has said, we, ye are God. Ye are what? God. We are not brethren and men, sis. When we come back to this Bible, we are God. It's one thing to know Jesus Christ is a black man according to the Bible, but I didn't know God didn't care about no other race on the planet but mine. By example, nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is children with role models. Oh, 